there was one thing for 2014 that this industry did not see coming, it'd have to be the supply agreement between Arctic Cat and Yamaha that involves both motors and chassis. Did Yamaha need to make a big move to keep buyers interested in coming back to their five-star dealers to buy new iron? <laughs> Absolutely. Was a strategic partnership the right way to go? Well, for that answer, only time is going to tell. But for today, I've got my gloves on, ready to send the 2014 SR Viper through its paces. So put away your preconceived notions and get ready for the most interesting sled of 2014. Have you ever wondered what a Nitro would feel like with the motor lower in the chassis, the weight decreased, and the ergonomic suspension and riding package completely fitting like a glove? Well, you're not alone, and this year, it's called an SR Viper. The Genesis 135 FI is a powerhouse of torque. I've said it year in and year out about the Nitro, and it's even truer in the SR chassis. What I always knew the 135 FI could be is reality in this sled. Torque for days, sporty lightweight characteristics, and the lower center of gravity Yamaha needed to address in other sleds. This truly is a match made in snowmow heaven. If you really want to find out just how venomous the new Viper is, giving the throttle a good squeeze from a low roll-on is going to give you just about all you can handle. The Camelplast Ripsaw 2 137-inch track grabs the ground with force, and thanks to the floating front arm design of the DualShock SR137, the skis stay light but not uncontrollable. I've never seen a 137-inch floating front arm skid, but I'm sure glad it's here for 2014, because in this sled, it works perfectly. The rear skid of the Viper gives you just the right amount of adjustability to fine-tune this sled to your ride, but it doesn't have options like compression and rebound adjustability, but I don't really mind that so much because usually compression and rebound will end up getting you a worse ride in the end if you don't know exactly what you're doing. With dual aluminum bodied rebuildable high pressure gas shocks, the components are up to the task. And thanks to a threaded preload adjuster on the front arm and a three-way triangular cam style rear torsion spring adjuster, you'll be able to dial this skid in to your rider weight and preferred suspension sag. The rough stuff is where this skid truly shines, and it proves that a sub 140 inch suspension is exactly where the performance crossover segment needs to be. Absolutely mowing through bumps, the SR137 blows me away with its ability to settle out even the harshest trail junk. Bottoming on the geos occasionally lets me know I'm using all the available travel. Likewise, the chatter bumps that seem to torment 141 and 144 inch skids and rattle my kidneys are settled down and seem to almost fade away as you roll on more power. The rear suspension of any snowmobile can only be as good as the front suspension allows it to be, and by no means does this front end disappoint. Outfitted with Fox Float 2s, the ultra-tall lightweight spindles meshed to the swept-back triangulated A-arms provide a very precise handling chassis. The steering system is simple and light and delivers a very on-center feel when tracking down the trail. In corners, the sled delivers a slight amount of push, but stays controlled, feeling less locked into the trail than a Skidoo, and more similar to a Polaris. Power steering is not needed on this Yamaha sled that truly requires very little input to net the results you want when you're steering on or off the trail. Pulling off the trail with this sled is different than any other Yamaha of the past, where you don't actually feel the weight of the sled way up high in the chassis. If you have the snow depth to dip your elbows in the powder, you'll soon realize just how much potential this sled has with the Genesis motor that absolutely rips in this type of terrain thanks to the huge torque produced. This truly is one of the most well-rounded Yamaha sleds that I've ever ridden. Put all of the speculation and comments about the supply agreement with Arctic Cat aside, and this is a heck of a good sled. The features list on the Viper LTX SE I tested today include push button reverse, yep, that's correct, no more finicky shift lever, electric start, full featured digital gauge, sporty and aggressive low windshield, rear tunnel storage bag, and a graphics and coloration package that in my opinion is absolutely the best looking sled on snow. In particular for me, the blue and white version I tested today. While there are gonna be a lot of questions about what the SR Viper truly is, I'm here to tell you it's a Yamaha at heart. It's powered by a Yamaha motor and it just might be the sweetest sled on the trails this season.